guys, thanks for tuning in to a rather strange and unusual video that um, certainly not anything I've ever done before and um, who knows, I may never do one of these again, I have no idea. Um, we're going to call this Guns and Munchies uh, and the idea being pretty simple. I'm going to do a video where I talk about something having to do with firearms in one way or another and um, I want to talk about some sort of interesting junk food. And by interesting, I mean something that isn't the norm, all right? Um, it's not uh, your average bowl of cereal or whatever or, or chocolate cupcakes. Maybe something that some of you guys haven't tried. And at the end of the video, I'll kind of give you my review on uh, whatever I've tried. So today I want to talk a little bit about rifle caliber pistols as far as whether or not you should buy one, given that the ATF at this point in time has it on their agenda to try and turn these into SBRs. And I want to talk about banana split Twinkies. Now my children have already busted into this box. So I think it's probably half empty at this point, but uh, I just bought these today. Uh, I've seen these at the store for at least a couple months now, and they have uh, uh, gotten my attention. I've been very, very curious. I'm not a big Twinkie fan. I prefer the, the, the chocolate cupcakes, but these are nice, they're unusual, and I've been curious. So I thought I'd uh, give you guys my thoughts and opinions on it. So let's, uh, let's crack it open and uh, talk a little bit about uh, you know AR pistols, AK pistols, that type of thing. Now. Um, the idea, as I said, the ATF basically wants to turn these into SBRs. It's on their 2016 agenda, so come beginning of next year, they're going to start having talks about whether or not this is something they're going to do. We know this is something they want to do, um, so there's a good chance, since they don't really have a lot of oversight, they're pretty much allowed to do what they want without Congress writing laws, um, there's a good chance these may get turned into SBRs. We don't know for sure, but that's on the table. So the idea comes, should you buy one of these in case they turn it into an SBR? Well, the first thing you got to think about, guys, if they turn these into SBRs, it doesn't matter if you bought one before or after they do that, you're still going to need a $200 tax stamp. Now, maybe they decide to waive the $200 fee if you can prove you owned it before the law went into place. Maybe they don't. Who knows? Um, I think they're pretty money hungry, so they may just decide to say, no, screw you. Um, you're going to have to pay us $200. You need to get a $200 tax stamp for that. I don't know. We'll see. So keep that in mind. And that leads me into the idea of, do you actually want one of these? I personally like these things. I think they're great. I think they serve a lot of purposes. I've really warmed up to them a lot in the last six months or so, um, especially the AR, pist or the AR pistols as opposed to the AKs. I, I like the AR pistols better for some reason, um, even though I like AK rifles better. Um, I think they're great for defensive situations, home defense. I think they're great for vehicle guns as far as if you're going on a trip somewhere, this is a very nice compact package you can kind of throw in one of your bags or whatever um, or just in the trunk and you've got a good amount of defensive firepower in a very small package. I think it's a great idea guys, um, especially on the ARs because with the buffer tube, which is a part of the receiver, this is considered the receiver extension, if you do not modify this in any way, uh, put nothing back here, don't put any, don't do anything to it, you can actually shoulder this, okay? It's a piece of the, the, the gun. It's not anything added onto it, so it's not considered a stock in any way, shape, or form. It's not like the SIG brace that they basically said is a stock if you intend to use it that way. So, barring all that, um, I think it's a great option for defensive situations. Um, but if you don't want one already, if you're perfectly happy with your uh, your you know standard AR 16 inch or your AK or whatever it is, and you don't want this, if you prefer having something a little bit longer with a stock and you're not interested in paying a $200 tax stamp, then why buy one? If you haven't went an SBR to rifle yet and paid the $200 tax stamp to do that, why would you want to do it for one of these? You see what I'm saying? If you're not interested in SBRing a rifle, why would you buy one of these just because you think they might turn it into an SBR where you're going to have to get a tax stamp and pay the $200 anyway? So um, if you're not an SBR person, you never wanted an SBR, never wanted to deal with tax stamps, anything like that, then don't get one just because you think they might turn it into an SBR because it will need to be uh, uh, registered, as it were, as an NFA item and you will need a tax stamp for it. So. Keep that in mind. If you like it and you're willing to pay the $200 tax stamp to turn into an SBR, then go for it. Um, if not, don't buy one. So um, that's pretty much it on the uh, on the pistols. Um, here's what the uh, Twinkie looks like. Nothing like it does on the package, but let's see how it tastes. Um, it looks like it would taste good, even though I'm not a fan of Twinkie. So let's let's see what we think. Hmm. Wow. That actually tastes exactly like a banana split. Um, you can taste the strawberry, you can taste the the banana, the vanilla, everything. It actually does taste like a banana split. Um, 
I will say that, um, hmm, very, very sweet. I don't think there's any way I could eat more than one of these. Um, if you're a kid, I'm sure you could tear them up, but if you got a really bad sweet tooth, then yeah, these are awesome. If not, one is going to more than do you. They are they are very, very sweet. Um, whew. Yeah, I don't even know if I can finish the other half of that. Um, <laughs> so anyway, there you go. Um, I'll give the Banana Split Twinkies two thumbs up because they do taste very good and they taste exactly like what they say they do. They taste like a Banana Split Twinkie, um, but very, very sweet, so keep that in mind. I'm a, I'm a chocolate cupcake man myself, but um, yeah, these, these are okay. These are okay. So... If you got a sweet tooth, go with that. If you want an AR pistol and don't mind turning it into an SBR, get one. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Stick with your standard, uh, you know, carbine. So that's it, guys. Uh, I'm done. Hope you enjoyed uh, guns and munchies. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.